Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to my Master Mode, I almost said Expert, Master Mode Hardcore Maid Summoner playthrough of Terraria's 1.4 update. It's been a little bit. I have not touched the game in a while, and um, well, welcome back to both you and me. So what have I been doing in the meantime? Well, not a lot. I did make a greenhouse, so let me go ahead and show you that speed build here, um, and I'll kind of talk just a little bit over the beginning of the build. I am really happy with how it turned out. However, in hindsight, maybe I should have done one of two things. Number one, either made it not in the jungle, or number two, placed the jungle pylon inside of the greenhouse. Because now what I've effectively done is made this wonderful greenhouse, huge, absolutely chalk brim with meaningful plants that I can make potions with, but I also now have to cross a small stretch of jungle in order to get to potions, which normally isn't that big of a deal, but in hard mode, the tortoises could make a very, very big deal of it. Right, so let's actually go take a nice quick look at that greenhouse up close. It is getting to evening, but I should be just fine. There's my witch doctor's house. I am very proud of that. Oh, looks like I even have some moon glow here. In fact, I have, let's see, have my quick staff of regrowth here. Let's go ahead and see what I can grab. Definitely get all that moon glow. I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. Very, very happy. It is very full. Could probably be a little bit bigger if I really wanted to, but it almost has the shape of a, uh, a beehive, which is completely unintentional. By the way, let's get some potions going. There we are. I know that that's off center. Unfortunately, I didn't really measure this out to begin with, so I wasn't really sure if I had a direct center. Turns out the direct center is there, and since that's a two block wide fountain, didn't really work out. So my apologies, have some pumpkins up there just for fun. And let's see, I wanna put the staff back. I do actually wanna make, let's see, cause we are gonna be working on a elevator today. What can I make? Definitely want some, let's see. Oop. What am I doing here? Completely forgetting how to play this game. Right, crafting. I want to make some more shines. like having these on just for all of you at home. Makes it a lot easier for you to see. Trust me, I know. How about mining potions? Can I make any of those? I cannot. Probably missing some antlion mandibles. That's what it looks like. I'm going to have to farm for antlion mandibles just so I have more of those. But I do have some. That's great. We'll go back and we will buy some bombs, buy some dynamite. So a couple of things here. Number one. Several commenters have asked, why do I keep both recalls and a magic mirror? Isn't that just taking up an unnecessary item slot? Sure, it is. But the reason is this works, the recall potions work just a little bit faster than a magic mirror. So magic mirror, if I was in a lot of trouble and I use this, that can be a little bit slower. Whereas if I use a recall, that is darn near instantaneous. So this is used in the middle of battle. This is just for use if I need to teleport home but I'm not in immediate danger. That's why I keep both of those, okay? Now the other thing is, where are we gonna build the elevator? So I have a couple of things in mind. Number one, I wanna make this as straight as possible. It just makes it easier. I also wanna make it several blocks wide, not just the standard two or three. I would like to do it about five. Not because I'm trying to separate biomes. That's something that, frankly, I've never concerned myself with. When I was asking for ideas on how to best prepare for hard mode, a lot of people suggest to make sure you block off your biome so you don't get cross-contamination with the hallow and the crimson. I frankly don't concern myself with that. If it happens, it happens. I kind of see it as playing the ball where it lies, so to speak. What I would like to do, though, is maximize where the elevator goes. And what I mean by that is I would love to be able to get a spider staff and a queen staff pretty early on in hard mode. And there we have a spider biome right there. We have seen several, I believe, in this world. Let's see. Maybe I didn't actually explore them. It's also possible that I'm thinking of a world that Gladdy and I played together because we have been playing a lot of co-op lately. I thought there was even one by the dungeon. It could just be that they're off camera, but that's the one that I know about. But what I would also like to do is get a marble biome which i do have one right there i thought i also had one yeah there's one way way down by lava 
and that's by jungle. I don't want to build through jungle. I think that would be a really, really bad decision. I don't want to build down the crimson. So unfortunately, unless I get really lucky right here, I don't think I'm going to have a direct access to marble. Maybe we will get lucky though. And the reason I want to go through marble, also hard mode related, is I want to farm for a Medusa head. I know that there were some pretty drastic changes in 1.4, but I had a lot of fun with it when I used it in my expert hardcore, and I'd like to try it out again. Right, so enough talking, time to get busy. We're going to go down to our cavern pylon. We will be moving the cavern pylon down closer to hell once we actually have the elevator going. But I want to buy many, 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 many bombs. I wish these would stack in 999 instead of 99. Thinking, th eh, let's go nuts. Let's go three full stacks. And just for fun, I am also going to buy some dynamite. Ooh, 99, so they changed that. I am going to convert some of these bombs, probably, I think they stack in 30. Oh no, they go up to 99 too. Perfect. This is just going to be for what I call precision explosions. There's not a whole lot you know, precise about it, but hopefully you get what I mean. And let's see, what do we want to take off the hotbar? The Aqua Scepter is kind of fun, but I think what we'll do is we'll get that there. Snapthorn, I'm not using a whole lot, at least right now, so we'll do that for the stickies. And yeah, let's go take a look. So we're going to be pretty close to Tundra. In fact, we're going to be kind of going through Tundra. Also, I have Meteorite. I think I mined this off camera. I'm going to be honest, it, it's been, it has been a minute since I have touched Terraria. I kind of allowed myself to get burnt out, which is a darn shame. And I've just been playing some other games and recording other games. And it's uh, it's been nice. It's been a blast, actually. I do have some other things that I still need to accomplish before we fight the Wall of Flesh, so don't expect to see that in this episode. Still have some houses to build, still have a graveyard biome to build. Cannot wait for that. Oh, look at that magic missile. Oh, my goodness, my goodness gracious. There we are. Now, so we are right at the edge of Tundra, and... Ah, I did not mine this. I didn't mine this, and nor did I bring an obsidian skin. That is, that's a shame. All right, we'll tell you what, I need to take care of this. So I am going to go back to the jungle. I'm gonna get an obsidian skin, we're gonna mine this, and then we're gonna build our elevator right there. So let's go ahead, magic mirror. All right, no need for you to see this, so I'll be back in, well, for you, just a second. Oh, and actually, that reminds me. There was something else that I was going to do in this episode because everyone has told me about it. I knew about it. I just didn't do anything with it. And that is, I want to make something that I can't make here. Hmm. Oops. Not trying to place anything here. So with bones, I can make the void bag and the void vault. So the void bag, ah, crimson altars. Okay, I do want to make these. I have not played with them yet. So over to the Crimson. All right, Void Vault and the Void Bag. Very cool, let's get out of here. And let's see, so the Void Vault can be placed. I think it's like the safe, which I don't think I've bought the safe either. We might as well be doing that. And look at that, it's a totally separate inventory. And the void bag, oh, summons the void vault. Okay, so actually, do I even need that? Oh, I don't need that. Will contain items picked up by the void bag, so maybe I can just actually leave this here? And I can just summon this at any time. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. 
That is, let me know if that's how this works. If this is kind of like a piggy bank and this is like a money trough. That's what it seems like. I do want to buy the safe, by the way, now that I've killed Mr. Skeletron here. Yeah, 17 gold, worth it. Very much worth it. All right. So let me just dump off a few things here. Ooh, we are chock full. Don't look at my chest, they're looking bad. By the way, I've done some fishing. <laughs> I've done some fishing, and I think I mentioned this before, but I'm really only keeping those crates for decoration. I have no intention of uh, opening them. All right, tell you what, boom, boom, boom. Actually, tissue samples, I think. Nope, I don't have any here, but those can go in there, not that they really need to. And we'll go with that. Boom, boom. Don't need a mushroom, all right. Already limited space, but now that we have these items, we can start going because the way that this works, if carried, it may pick up items when your inventory is full. So when I'm full and I start mining, all the cobblestone and the dirt and the mud, all that should go right into the void, which is pretty stinking cool. So they've somewhat solved the inventory issue, at least in a roundabout way. All right, time to go deal with this meteorite. Seven hundred and nineteen meteorite. I don't think I have ever come anywhere close to that amount. That's absolutely huge. By the way, I had to come back because I forgot food. I am not well fed. Not well fed. So, yeah, let's grab our lobster tails. Take one of those. All right, back yet again to the soon-to-be elevator. Well, it is time to begin. So I'm not sure if I want to do anything with this big hole that the meteorite left. Maybe kind of make it into kind of like a pre-elevator base of some sort. Maybe. All right. Well, let's start. Let's get a couple of blocks. See how four works. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right. I'm going to be at this for a while. So, I'll bring you back for anything interesting that happens if I stumble upon any cool biomes or anything like that. And yeah, we'll try to make this as pretty as we can. Welcome to the elevator episode. I think everyone has this at some point, right? Alright, looks like we are at the spider biome. Now, I want to, I think, mark this off. So what I'm going to do is, just so I know where it's at, I'm going to put that wood here. Although, hmm. You know what, I didn't think this through. I didn't actually want my elevator going through the spider biome. Can you destroy the spider biome? I wonder. I'm curious, like if I were to destroy the background wall, would it destroy it and then I could just kind of make a safe passage? Probably not, that's probably foolish. I don't know, we're gonna have to try it. Hmm, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think we're about to find out in possibly a horrible, death-defying way. Or maybe I don't de defy death. So, will this work? I I kind of think it might. I mean, I have the normal background. So 
so maybe I can pass safely, relatively safely at least, through uh, spider territory now? I, I honestly don't know. Well, anyway, uh, haven't made it very far, so let's let's push on. <laughs> That was a really nice emerald gem cave, and even though I don't need gems, emerald should still sell for a good amount. In fact, how many did I get? Should have gone in my void bag, which is just so cool. 66 emeralds. Wow. I'm okay with that. All right, I am seeing the underworld. It was a, a pretty clean excavation, actually, to be quite honest. I definitely need to clean up the side some and, and make it look a little nicer. Definitely light it up for sure. But, oh boy, here we are. Oh gosh, I, I don't really want to know how much damage these are all going to do. So let's, uh, hmm. Don't really have any intention of spending too much time down here. Then again, I could look for some chests. I do have an obsidian skin for the next three minutes. Oh, careful, we got a... Got a skeleton uh, guy, Bone Serpent, that's the name. Yeah, might as well actually use the rest of this obsidian skin. So, let's get down nice and low. I have three minutes. And yeah. I didn't actually think I was gonna get some Hellstone, but might as well at this point. Just keep, just be careful. I definitely want to... Oh, gosh. Okay, that guy does actually hurt. Oh, come on, zombie frog. Or vampire frog. I keep calling him zombie frog. There we go. Let's see if we can get enough. I don't intend on using the armor so much, but an imp staff would be nice. As well as, what else? Um, I think you need hellstone for a lava-proof bug net. And... Well, probably some other stuff. So yeah, let's let's spend some time getting some of this. Might as well. It's actually a nice big pocket right here. Yeah, I'd actually popped the obsidian skin earlier just because I was traveling through lava when I was digging the elevator. I did not find a marble biome, which is a shame. I definitely still want to make a kind of a mini elevator to one of them. I just think it would be really fun. I could even set up the farm before hard mode. You know, if I'm smart about it, that way I can just make a really simple lava farm, do some AFK farming for Medusa, and yeah, get a Medusa head pretty early. That would be pretty enjoyable, I think. Really curious as to how it performs now, because it was just so much fun before. Right across here, obsidian skin, 30 seconds. I might pop another one. I have plenty. I don't really want to give up the zombie frog. Vampire frog, come on. Gotta remember this just yet, but I think the imps got a boost, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's be efficient about this. Let's not use the next potion until just before time. Oh, there's a nice pocket right there. Okay, it is time. There we are. Good. I'm on my last mining potions. Yeah, let's do this for a little bit. And then we'll uh, consider what's next. We need to start working on the arena, obviously, for Wall of Flesh. And I definitely want to find the Shadow Chest, because there's some really, really good magic items. I think the Flame Lash. And, well, I can get the Demon Scythe from the Demons. That could be fun to get. Yeah, Underworld definitely opens up a lot of possibilities. Maybe what we'll do is we won't focus on building the arena. Maybe we'll just go look for some chests once I have enough Hellstone, which I probably already do. I always get way more than needed. I probably am lacking obsidian more than anything else. Well, why don't we take a look? How much hellstone do we currently have? 329. 
let's go to 400. Oh, there's a shadow chest. I think I have my key in my piggy. I hope I do. Okay, we're at 353. Yeah, we'll just kind of eyeball it here. Oh yeah, here we go. We'll get this and then we're going to be done for sure. Right around 400, right? Eh, 411. That'll work. Now, do I have that key on me? I do. Beautiful. All right, let's let's see. Can I quick stack some stuff a little bit? Oh, that imp. Oh, that imp. What do I want to put in you? Let's see. Well, I guess really everything. Well, not my shield. In fact, I want to put my shield back on. And let's deposit all. There we go. All right, let's go. Oh, man, that is a big difference. Not using that ancient chisel. Oh, what I didn't do is actually get the key out. There we are. Let's see what we get. Chest number one. The only thing I need to worry about, of course, are the demons holding the voodoo, uh, voodoo doll. And we get oh, the flame lash right away. 44 magic damage. It's better than magic missile. And we got an Inferno. Oh, I love the Inferno potion. Now, we gotta play with that. Where did I put Flame Lash? I think, is this the one that bounces? Oh, no, this is the one that's controlled with the mouse, which means, did it also get a buff where it, where it homes? It does, oh my goodness. Well, Magic Missile's already been replaced. Almost a shame. <laughs> Almost a shame. Let's light this place up a little bit. Right. Yeah, let's look first. Oh, another shadow chest right above me. Look at the homing on that. Oh, my goodness. We get... Hey, the hasty treasure magnet. Kind of like that. Kind of neat. All right, what else? What else can we get? I definitely want to get these pots. You can get some good money out of these. So again, I'm not going to worry about building anything right now since I have the obsidian skin. I'm just going to fly around. Okay, nothing. Oh, can I see? No, I don't see anything hidden over there. So I'm not going to worry about going under. Oh, jeepers. Here we go. Not going to worry about exploring it. Ooh. And watch out. Make sure there's no voodoo dolls to be seen. No. Oh, do want to get a health forge, though. There we are. Okay. Did I just see another one? Not a health forge, but a chest. Yes, I did. Careful. Uh, hmm. Come on, Farag. What are you doing? All right, we're going to have to sneak this one through. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That just feels unfair, if I'm being totally honest. Okay, Sun Fury. Awesome. Now that they've increased the usability of the maces, for sure. I know I have that imp there. Just kind of ignore... Oh. Incredible damage. Just incredible damage. And that is totally unrerolled. 44 damage, and that's only going to go up from there. Okay, that's not true. It actually could go down, but I just won't settle for that. 44 seconds on Obsidian Skin. Let's not. Oh, forget about that. Not a lot of buildings this way. It's probably because the buildings tend to be centered under the spawn of the world, whereas I kind of already went to the left of the center. Yeah, so I might want to go back and go right instead. In fact, are they exclusively in a certain block radius from the center? That very well could be. All right, blue, don't forget. New obsidian skin, beautiful. Yeah, I'm thinking... 
I'm thinking we gotta go back. All right, let's do it. Also, let's take a look at my elevator. That is pretty straight. Come on. Oh, careful. If I see the wall of flesh has awoken, I'm gonna cry. There's just, there's no way to escape it if that happens. As long as I'm, you know, cautious on using this flame lash. I'm trying to think of the other, is it flame burst? No, there's another magic weapon that I think is found from the chest. Or maybe it's actually a drop from the imps. That guy has one. That guy has one. No, 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 frog. Um, You need to go away. I mean, it would have taken him a while to kill. But yeah, there's the other one that actually bounces. It creates these little fire orbs that bounce. I don't remember what it's called, but it was pretty fun. And I think it could work well against the wall because you can just kind of angle it at the ground and bounce it into him as he, uh, as he gets close. Which, you know, maybe that'd be effective. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, oh, definitely get that mana, was that regen? Oh, no, magic power, even better. Am I over platinum? Not over platinum, and that's one thing that I definitely need to do. I need money, but I need to go into hard mode with money as well. Because I want to be able to get those wings from the witch doctor. Day one, or rather night one, I guess. Oh, there's another one. And, okay, another Sun Fury. Get rid of those recalls. You know, the one thing, and this is gonna be a very, very minor complaint, I would like to see them change the way that the void, uh, void vault works, in that because I can pick stuff up, anything that's on the ground, it will go out in there automatically, but you can't put it in there directly from chest you have to summon the vault and then you can put it in I mean, you know it's a minor quibble what a fun word though quibble did wait a minute wait 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 does it pierce does it actually pierce because it looked like it hit the bat and then circled around and hit him again and if that's the case hello new favorite weapon That just hit several times over. Wow, that is some good damage. All right, another chest here. And we get the Dark Lance, which is melee. So it doesn't quite count. I got Life Force potions though. That's pretty great. All right, we're gonna do Money Trough. Pause it all. Yeah, that was, that was worthy to get just for the Life Force potion. Extra 20% health, which means at 400, I will go all the way up to 500. I will probably be using that against the wall. I don't know how many chests there tend to be. I don't know if there's, you know, a guaranteed number. I am over platinum now, but I do have some stuff on a reroll as well, or at least the Flame Lash, for sure. But I also have a lot of good equipment that I can sell, too. Look at that. It does. It pierces. Okay, so we have Hell Butterfly. Can't do anything with that yet. I do want to do some fishing in Hell. I haven't done any of that yet. And I think that's gonna be probably the best. Oh, careful. Is that guy still following me? Is that a new one? I wanna get a lava charm so I can get the Terra Spark boot. That is two of them side by side. Hey, all right, good, 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 good. There we go, rather safe we get. Furious Flame Lash. <laughs> Does cost more mana. Ooh, Ornate Shadow Key. Cool. New pet, I dig that. 
Also, let's go ahead and switch that out. Yes, it does cost more mana, but mana hasn't been too much of an issue as of late. Probably getting pretty off-center at this point. In fact, let's kind of take a look. Yeah, it looks like it's a little city, although they stopped... Well, it spawns right there. Actually, I could have a number of more buildings to go through. Yes, I definitely could have done this more efficiently by actually building the Wall of Flesh Arena at the same time. But, eh. Yeah, I see you, Imp. Ooh, okay. It's a little slow. It's gotta be said, it's a little slow. And also, hey, obsidian skin, wore out. I always wonder how many of you are screaming at me for that. Or for any of the derps that I do, which which are numerable. Oh, potions of returns, excellent. I love, I actually haven't used the potions of return. I just love them in theory. A recall potion that actually will create a portal back. That's just awesome. I wouldn't be surprised if I have a few of those and I just haven't been paying attention. 84. So it looks like after it hits an enemy, it has kind of this arc that it has to follow before it can hit another one. So if there's enough open space, yeah, it could potentially hit the same enemy twice, which is just so cool. Alright, finally another one. It's actually been a minute. Hey, what do we get? We get another hurtful dark lance, or another dark lance, I guess I should say. Alright. Well, I'm not even sure what else I should be looking for, to be honest. But we'll keep going until we run out of buildings, at least. Alright, and hey, another Sun Fury. Probably need to start filling my void bag now. Which is also really full. Well, I think we are running low. Interesting that I just found money way over here. I'm not sure what I killed off screen, but that is honestly scary. Look at that. I mean, come on. That just doesn't even seem fair. Although, then again, I guess range has all the chlorified bullets, and melee has... What does melee have that would be an equivalent? I, you know, honestly, I do rate melee so infrequently other than yo-yos. I'm not, I'm not sure what melee has. Alright, running low on obsidian skin again. I don't even know if it's worth it to pop another one. Another chest. Go from the top here. And that's what it is. The Flower of Fire. Alright, so I th think that's the last item in these chests we wanted to get. Can I actually sneak that through? That would be cool. Come on, Nim. You need to uh, come on out here. Oh, you know what I have is the safe. There we are. And that is 57 damage and less mana. 57. Not rolled. It's slow. It is slow. But it does catch them on fire. It does bounce. I think that has some use. We're going to have to sort out another. Uh oh. Yep, I cannot. <clears throat> well, that is going to do it for this episode. <laughs> oh. My. Heavens. 
That was positively terrifying. I, I, I totally lost track of everything. Um, okay. I still want to go back because there were a couple more chests, but for now, <laughs> now that I've shaken off that near death, let's talk to Rags here. And let's see about these two items we got. So the Flame Lash, three gold, not terrible. Let's see if we can get something a little bit better. Intense. Eh. Nimble. Okay, good. Good, excellent. Yep. Oh, I, my hands are shaking. My hands are truly shaking. Mythical. Are you serious? Oh, okay. And... So this will probably replace my water bolt. I mean, more than twice the damage. Manic, no. Godly? We'll take godly. We'll take godly. Yeah, so I think the aqua scepter, magic missile, and the water bolt have now been retired. What kind of damage is that doing now? 65 without any buffs. 65 damage. <laughs> Not bad at all. All right. Well, really and truly, that is going to do it for this episode. That ended. I, maybe I'll just cut it right when that happens and I wonder if I ever got out. But no, I think I've already left John Cliffhangers before. So <laughs> we're alive. Just barely. Thank you, Nurse, for being there. Oh, boy. Next time. Next time, we are going to continue to loot the underworld. We'll do a little bit more building. Probably build a mini elevator to one of my granite biomes, which I don't know probably that one to be honest probably that one even though it's under the dungeon I may either do one straight through the dungeon or or maybe do right next to it and then cut over I'm not sure we'll figure it out but that is for next time thank you all so much for watching hope you're still enjoying keep the tips and tricks coming <laughs> and because of that lucky recall I will see you next time so stupid.